sick of people at ESPN or Sports Center who think they have their heads on their shoulders but really don't? Well, it's time for the Jimmy the K Sports Show. We're going to give you the most urgent sports news. Now it's time for the Jimmy the K Sports Show. We are live, unedited, and giving it to you now. Here we go, boys. Let's have some fun. How y'all doing out there? It's been a while since I've done this, hasn't it? Oh, it hasn't been that long. Come on, girls. Stop whining. Are you crying? There's no crying in baseball. Well, how you been? It's your host, me, Jimmy the K, as usual. I would say you see me on every Saturday night, but as things have gotten more and more unrandom, it's kind of more just uh, when you see me. But... Good news for you out there. Good news if you're a fan of the show. I am quite possibly going to look at doing a second part to a show, meaning that it would be a a two-day-a-week show. And you're going, okay, he can hardly do it. Well, guess what? We're going to attempt to, all right? We're going to attempt to. And we're going to start this Tuesday night, beginning at 7 p.m. here on Ustream, the Jimmy the K Sports Show. As the sports world is continuing, continually evolving, I feel very, very uh, inclined to give you the most live sports news that I can give you in a day's worth, in a two days worth, in three days worth, however many days that may be. (laughs) So starting for a trial run this Tuesday and next Tuesday, I understand that Uh, Big shows like The Voice will be on uh, starting next week and and shows like that. But you can DVR. You know, there's great things about these these new cable systems. You can DVR those things and come back to them at a later time. So for this Tuesday and definitely next Tuesday for a trial run starting at 7 p.m. And again, I'm going to be live, unedited, unedited and giving it to you. We're not going to play reruns. We're not going to play reruns. We don't play reruns here on this show. Um, If you want to watch reruns of this show, you have a a way of going about that as well. If you would like to watch reruns of the show, you go to my YouTube page. Go to YouTube.com. Then in the search engine, just uh, search Jimmy the K Sports Show. You'll see feeds pop up with my ugly mug there, and you can go through all the past shows as I like to upload these shows from Ustream to YouTube because uh, on the basic pass- package of, you, uh, of Ustream, I only get 30 days uh, of viewing pleasure for you here through Ustream. So after those 30 days, if you want to watch it, you know, 35 days from now, you have to go to YouTube. The one they will continually be there for, for an unlimited amount of time and you can have Have your fun there. But, again, starting this Tuesday, next Tuesday, live trial at 7 p.m. here on Ustream. We're live. We're not going to be a rerun. Uh, You'll you'll never see reruns here on this show. Any time that you pop on right now, it's going to be live. Um, You know, if you're watching this via YouTube or or later than the, the time right now, then then, uh, yeah, it will be a rerun for you. But for somebody that's out there watching us live, this is definitely going to be a live show. So, again, I want to thank you, the fans, for continuing to stick by me. I've got um, other things that I'm working on. One one thing is um, there is a LPFM in uh, Fort Worth that I'm going to get in contact with. Uh, LPFM, for those of y'all that are not familiar, is a low-powered uh, FM station. Basically, it doesn't go outside 10 miles of the the um, the uh, satellite the, or the the, uh, the satellite towers uh, corridor, so to speak. But this company's been on the internet for several years now. The gentleman that has done this, that has gotten the license for the LPFM, 
is somebody well known in the radio business in the Texas area. So I'm definitely going to get in contact with him. We're going to look to possibly get in contact with him, quite possibly try to sell this show um, to get a time slot with the LPFM. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. With the LPFM, we will actually have a consist consistent time frame. That's something that we can look at. It's something consistent. It will be on this day, continually every day, Monday through Friday, let's say from 9 to 10 p.m., 9 to 9.30 p.m. It will be something that will be continuous. Uh, this station is commercial free. It is a... Um, it is a privately funded organization. It is one that is nonprofit, meaning that donations are what makes this LPFM. It started out as an internet FM. And you're going to sit here, and, and especially people up here in the Oklahoma metro or Oklahoma area is going to be like, well, how can I listen to this show if it's on in Fort Worth? Or, or, or even people in Texas, you know, this thing may be on top of a, a warehouse in downtown Fort Worth, and you're not going to be able to hear it in Arlington. You may be a Texas Ranger fan, a Dallas Star fan, a Dallas Cowboy fan, a uh, Dallas, Ma uh, uh, Dallas Stars fan, and you're not going to be able to hear it except through the Internet. That's what this gentleman over here that got his license for the LP, Low Power, uh, FM station in the Fort Worth Metroplex has done. So I'm going to get in contact with this gentleman. We're going to quite possibly sell the show for a time slot on this internet slash LPFM. And we're going to get ourselves out there, whether it be uh, uh, through the Fort Worth area and only that 10 mile area, which I can guarantee it will not just be that 10 mile area because again, it's a well-known internet radio station and a well-known media mogul in the Texas area. So we're going to get in contact with him. We're going to do our research. We're going to sell this show. We're going to do what this show does best, sell itself. You know, I'm going to have you, the fans, I'm going to put on the best darn show that I can put on. It's not going to be sugar-coated. It's not going to be uh, panty-wasted. It's not going to be run by a 19-year-old kid who thinks he knows what he's doing. It's going to be run by somebody who's been in the business, who's continually trying to get better, and run by those in a business who are continually trying to better themselves. So that's the big news here at the Sports Zone, uh, the Jimmy the K Sports Show. Big news there. First two things. First two things. If you just now came on, first two things that, I, that I've talked about is one is our new trial uh, trial time. Our new trial time will be uh, along with Saturdays or Sundays will be to starting this Tuesday at 7 p.m. and next Tuesday it's going to be a trial run. If it runs well, then we will definitely keep that time slot except for the second Tuesday of the month, which. Uh, I have other obligations that second Tuesday of the month, uh, of, of every month. And um, so we're going to do the trial run. If that works, then we'll continually do it every Tuesday, except for the second Tuesday of the month. We'll continue to do either Saturdays or Sundays. Those are great days to, to sit down, relax, grab a cup of coffee, watch the Jimmy the K Sports Show, or if you're one of my fans out there that likes to uh, – Grab a cold one and drink, you know, while while you're watching the show. So be it. Just grab a grab a cold one. Grab a grab a cup of coffee. Grab a tea. Grab a beer. I don't care what you do. Just sit on, sit down, put your feet up, and get ready to uh, rock and roll with quite possibly the best sports show out there. Um, so that's one of the 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 uh, big news items that we have. The other big news item is that I'm going to get in contact with somebody that has gotten an LPFM in the Fort Worth Metroplex uh, and try selling the show uh, to a station. It started out as an internet radio station, for one. 
and uh, he got his license for the low power uh, FM station. So he's going to put it on tower, the tower on top of a warehouse somewhere in Fort Worth. It will not go outside of ten miles of that that tower. That's what LP stands for. It's low power. And it's it doesn't go very far. But what he's banking on is he's banking on the internet, which has done him quite well to help his his ratings and stuff of that that sort. So we're gonna get in contact with him. Those are the two big news items that we have thus far. Now getting on to the sports news. Getting on to the sports news. How many of y'all out there? Uh, I'm pretty sure this has been going on. Th this has been in the news for the last week. The uh, the the Jackie Robinson West Little League team was caught cheating in the Royal League World Series and they were stripped of their medal. Stripped of their medal. You know what my feelings are on cheating. I've done many shows about cheating. I've blogged about cheating when the blog was up. We're going to continue. Uh, we're going to look at, <laughs> at some point, putting the blog back up, getting the blog back in, and continually uh, try to blog at least once a week as well. You know my feelings on cheating. I'm not a big fan at all of cheating. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you've got idiots out there, and I did say idiots, and I italicized, I, I capitalized the word idiots. When you have people like Reverend Jesse Jackson, yes, Reverend Jesse, Jesse Jackson, I'm calling you out here on this show threatening to sue the Little League World Series because the Jackie Robinson <laughs> West team was stripped of their medal for cheating. They were caught for cheating. All right? You're threatening to sue the Little League World Series because these kids had nothing to do with it. They didn't know what they were doing. That is a cock of crap. Even a major league player came out Two days ago, by the name of Mark Mulder, many of y'all know who he is. Mark Mulder, a major league pitcher, comes out and says, the Jackie Robinson team has cheated for years. For years, they have cheated. And it's about time they got caught. They are notorious for cheating. And he comes out and says exactly what these guys did when he was younger, some odd many years ago. Here's the deal. You got little league teams. They've got boundaries. You've only got to be within those boundaries to be able to be part of this world series, or this little league, this Jackie Robinson West team. There were kids living outside of that, 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 uh, that, that circle, so to speak. And on top of that, they had older players on the team. I'm not a fan of cheating at all. All right? I'm not a fan of cheating. But when you have morons and idiots, and I capitalize morons and idiots, like Reverend Jesse Jackson, <coughs> who, excuse me, claim that they're going to sue the Little League World Series, I'm going to read some of the articles and some of his quotes. It is a load of crap. When you cheat and get caught, things happen. And when things happen, they happen. All right? That's the way it works around here. That's the way it works. If you're going to cheat, the system and get caught, then you're going to pay for it. And this is Jesse Jackson's quote. There's nothing these kids have done to have their championship erased. I hope the Los Angeles team will have the strength 
of character not to accept. What? What? Your team freaking cheated, and you're out here, Jesse Jackson, Mr. Bigot, and I put that in all capital letters. Claiming that you're going to sue the team? I want you to grow a pair. Get my address here to the show. I even put the put my email address up at the end of the show. Tell you how you can Facebook me, Mr. Reverend Jesse Jackson. Give me five minutes with your fat, ugly self, and I will put you in your freaking place about this cheating bullcrap and your bigotry. I'm sick of your crap. There is no reason why you should sue the Little League World Series because your team or these mostly African-American teams or whatever your bullcrap is, they didn't know what they were doing. Bullcrap! They know exactly what they're doing. 12-year-olds know what they're doing. Teenagers know what they're doing. 12-year-olds can get girls pregnant for crying out loud. Do you think a 12-year-old get that gets a girl pregnant, you're going to come to the rescue, Mr. Reverend and Jesse Jackson, and say, they didn't know what they were doing. Bull crap. Bull crap. Everyone wants to blame just the parents and say, the kids had nothing to do with this. That is a cock of crap. 12, 13, 14-year-old kids know exactly what cheating is. They know they were doing it. They know it was wrong. They should be stripped of it. And you heard it here. Jesse Jackson. Your team cheated. Grow a pair. Let's debate, pretty boy. I want you. That's what I got to say about cheating. You get cheated and you get caught. You get it to another team because you are a worthless piece of crap if you cheat. Cheating gets you nowhere in life. Major League players that cheat and get caught become nothing. They become piss-ons. Look at Alex Rodriguez. No one likes him anymore. He's a piss-on. He's a little piss-on who no one cares about anymore. Okay? That's what I have to say. If you're cheating and get caught, deal with the consequences. It was stripped. Jackie Robinson West. It was given to Las Vegas. They accept. So be it. That's their prerogative. Jesse Jackson, stop whining, moaning, and BSing about the fact that these kids are black. They, they are uh, kids, and they didn't know what they were doing. Because I can burn that argument in two seconds, okay? They're 12, 13, 14-year-old kids, and they know exactly what they're doing. Just like a 12, 13, 14-year-old kid that gets a girl pregnant knows exactly what they're doing. You cheat. You know what you're doing. You're 12. You know what you're doing. You cheated, all right? You're going to get nowhere in life cheating the system. Nowhere in life. Nowhere. Nowhere in life. I've had it up to my eyeballs. The people like Jesse Jackson, who all they want to do is whine and moan and groan because a team full of African Americans, and don't get me wrong, I am not bigoted, I am not racist, I am not prejudiced, but what I am is going to call a raisin a raisin when I see a raisin. And Jesse Jackson is a bigot, he's a racist, and he is prejudiced. He's all three wrapped into one. Because the only time he would do this is when a team full of African-American kids is stripped of a World Series title. And then he's going to come up with the excuse that they didn't know what they were doing. Right. Right, Jesse Jackson. They didn't know what they were doing. Why don't you just go back to your little bed buddy, Al Sharpton, and go cry about the economy or something else or how people don't love Obama or whatever. 
that crap is. And get your nose out of the sports. I'm sick of reverends like Jesse Jackson, Al Shopton, and President Barack Obama, who has better things to do than to worry about Little League World Series, sticking their nose in the pile of cow crap when their nose doesn't belong in the pile of cow crap. Let the authorities deal with what needs to be done and get your noses out of it. Period. They cheated. It was wrong. They got caught. That's the end of discussion, and that's my take. On a much lighter note, on a much, much lighter note, how many of y'all, This I believe this story came out yesterday. Major League Baseball is wanting to expand the strike zone because of a response to declining offenses. Can I uh, help you out here, guys? Can I help you out? Because I got a little saying. Every once in a while, every once in a while that I just love, love. It's one of my favorite sayings from Tom Hanks in the movie A League of Their Own. You know what it is? I'm going to play it for you here in a couple of seconds. Because the truth of the matter is, so what if the offense is declining? If a hitter can hit, they can hit. They'll find a way to hit, right? Right. Of course they will. Of course they will. Of course they will. They're going to find a way to hit. No matter what. But instead. we got Major League Baseball trying to cure this thing. And this. This is my take. On what Major League Baseball just needs to shut up because it's the offenses, <laughs> it's the hitters out there crying. And in the words of Tom Hanks, here we go. This is exactly what I have to say to those whining, moaning, and groaning about it. This is my take. You know, if your offense can hit, then they can hit. They'll find a way to hit. Right? They'll find a way to hit. So this is what I have to say about all this. Exactly what I, that's exactly what I have to say to those out there on the offensive side of baseball that are whining about the strike zone not being good enough. Here's the thing. In the words of Tom Hanks, are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. I love that movie. <coughs> Excuse me. If you've never seen the movie, it's called League of Their Own. Go see it. Excuse the language in it, but oh well, it happens sometimes. So, that's the show for tonight. I know there's been lots of things going on. I know in baseball, uh, the Texas Rangers traded for uh, Giovanni Gallardo. 
I feel like uh, that was a very good deal for the Texas Rangers. Um, they tra they traded for a catcher Carlos Corporan, a backup in Houston. I feel I, I feel like that will definitely be a uh, a uh, good positive thing for the Texas Rangers in the backup for Chirinos, Robinson Chirinos, who gets full time duties now. Um, it's getting ready to happen. Uh, I believe three days from now, some teams will have pitchers and catchers reporting. The Texas Rangers report pitchers and catchers report on a on Friday. On Friday, first full workout is I believe next Monday, the twenty third. Uh, baseball's about ready to get in full swing. Things are about ready to happen, and. Um, with that being said, lots of things are happening. Before I leave, I want to ask y'all something. How many of y'all are NASCAR fans? Any of y'all out there NASCAR fans? I want to ask y'all, what do y'all thought of this new format that they used at Daytona? You know, this new format that I was watching at Daytona, you know, I can see how some fans and, and even the racers are not going to like it. You know, they bunch them together, you know, uh, you know, they've been used to qualifying, you know, one car at a time with the fastest car getting, you know, the the, the two spots and then the dual, Budweiser duels and, on Thursday to finish off the spots. This new format, though, was a wreck fest. And NASCAR racers, race car drivers in NASCAR, some felt. One in particular, I believe Clint Boyer had some re uh, real flamboyant language for for uh, NASCAR officials and how convoluted and how idiotic this new format was. So, what's your takes on it? Do you like the new format? Do you not like the new format in NASCAR? You know... I I'm a fan of Rex, so to be quite honest with you, that first fake qualifying session or whatever it was, was kind of cool. But then after that, when the Rex didn't happen, it was kind of like, okay, this is boring. You might as well just put one car on the, on the racetrack and let them go. So if you're an NASCAR fan out there, what's your takes on this? Do you like the new uh, qualifying setup for Daytona Speed Weeks? Yay or nay, do you think there's improvements NASCAR needs to, needs to do? If so, what improvements do you think they can make? You can email those to me at allaboutsportszone at gmail.com. I am your host, Jimmy the K. You can see me here. Oh, just whenever you want to, you know, on some days. Yeah, some days you'll see me, some days you won't. But hey, I'll tell you something. I will tell you something. You can get in contact with me. You want to learn more about this show? Easy ways. Facebook.com. Search All About Sports Zone in the search engine. If you like that, Email me with your sports questions, all about sportszone at gmail.com. I am your host, or you can like me on Twitter at JimmyCursey1. I'm your host, Jimmy the K. And for reruns of these, if you are watching at a later time, go to my YouTube page, search Jimmy the K Sports Show, click, and you can watch reruns of these each and every day if you want to. Grab a cold one, a cup of coffee, a Dr. Pepper, whatever you want to do. Sit down, relax, get used to this because we're getting better. We're looking at FM, we're looking at Fort Worth, we're looking at the internet, we're looking everywhere because we want you, the fans, to have better aspects, better contacts, better, better feedback for the show, ways that we can help. Remember, three easy ways. You know what those ways are. Again. Facebook.com, search engine, all about sports zone. Twitter at Jimmy Kersey One, or email us your sports questions. All one word, all about sports zone at gmail.com. Until next time, I am Jimmy the K, sitting in the danger zone. Peace out.